Hello and welcome to NScale Friday. I'm John and I have a little something here from Atlas. So let's go over to the workbench and take a look. All right, so here's what we're looking at today. These are N-Scale Shorty Tank Cars, also known as Beer Can Tank Cars. These are N-Scale, and they come from Atlas's Train Man line. I counted 11 different paint schemes on their website, including an undecorated one. And the undecorated version goes for $14.95. The decorated versions go for $20.95. And then there's one that's called the Generic which just says beer across it, and that one's $26.95. You can find more information about these models on Atlas's website. So there isn't a whole lot of amazing detail on Atlas's Train Man series, generally speaking, but these are pretty cool tank cars, and even though it's on the so-called lower end of the spectrum, the paint on it is still excellent. That was one of the first things I noticed when I pulled them out, uh, what we're going to do here is take a look at this hooker one first, and then we'll take a look at the GATX one after that. Uh, I wanted to look at the orange one first because I kind of like it, and I think it's probably easier to see the details that I will be pointing out to you. I think one of the most remarkable things about the paint job on these models is that despite everything being so small, it's all legible. I was even able to make out the build date on this hooker car as May of 1966. So I'm not sure how they're able to print so crisply on a curved surface, but it looks really good. Looking briefly at the detail on the ends, surprisingly there is a molded brake wheel on the uh, B end, and you can see that the all the detail on the end is molded, and you can also see that it has a knuckle coupler there. The A end has similar detail. It's just molded. And that walkway, while it is molded, it does have sort of a, not a diamond plate tread, but it has some texture to it. So it looks like it would take weathering really well. And here's a look at the top of the car. You can see it actually has some pretty good hatch detail. There isn't really a whole lot to see on the bottom, but you can see that these are truck mounted knuckle couplers from this angle. All right, so I figured we'll just go in reverse order, starting with the bottom on the GATX model. Same thing, not a whole lot of detail underneath, but you can also tell on this one that these are truck mounted knuckle couplers. You can see that the hatch detail is pretty identical to what we saw on the orange car. And I really like that you can see those little rivets that go all, all the way around the hatch. That's pretty good. And looking at the A end, I think you can tell that the printing on this model is crisp, just like it is on the other one. You can read the number of gallons there, 10,240. And the B end has molded brake wheel detail and a molded walkway. Something else that you can see on the model here is there's a little bit of brake detail in here. A little sort of a tank or something. Maybe if you know what that is, you can put a comment in the comment section below, but I think it's some part of the brake system. And finally, we're gonna have a look at the general side view. And I gotta tell you, the paint on this one, just like the orange one, is perfect. The markings are all legible. I could tell that this one was built in May of 1968, for example. You can read everything on it. It's pretty remarkable. I think these are pretty cool models. I'm impressed with how good the paint is. And I have to say that I think it would look really cool to see a train with like a hundred of these things. That would be a super long train, but it wouldn't take up a lot of space. Can you imagine what that would look like though? I think it'd be pretty cool. Anyway, I'll see you next time.